Hey my loves, hello, welcome or welcome back to Heal Soul Tarot. This is Tiana, your own tarot creator and the psychic healer, my friends. I hope you are all doing well, healthy, happy, safe and sound. So guys, today's reading is all about who is in your destiny, okay? Who is there, who is written there and let's see what is there for you in future, right? So, uh, let's see. But you need to choose a pile first of all. So uh, you can see the options coming up here. Pile 1, 2 and 3 respectively. So whichever is calling you most, you can choose that. I will see you on your reading. Your timestamps are given down in the description box and I will see you in a while. Hello and welcome pile number one. If you chose the first option, come on, let's see what is there for you. And let's see what is in your destiny. Who is in your destiny? So this is three of swords. Alright. Three of swords and this is seven of swords. Oh my gosh, group number one. This is eight of swords and nine of wands. Oh my gosh, things are really painful for you, pal number one. Because there I can see three swords cards and literally, you know, all of them are painful. Like literally you have got traumatic past. You have got literally so much painful life, okay? You have suffered a lot in relationships. Or maybe I don't know what kind of thing is here, but literally with the three of swords, I can see divorce. I can see a loss, maybe financial loss, any job loss, or maybe any you know loved ones. You literally are suffering, and maybe you have got anxiety issues, mental you know psychic issues, or whatever the case is. But you know. I can literally see something to do with your mental conflicts kind of thing. Maybe you're not feeling well. Something is always running into your mind. Some worries, problems. And for that sake, because Eight of Swords, you see, you can see literally restrictions. You are in mental conflicts, victim mindset, constantly overthinking, restricting yourself. And maybe you sometimes you feel that you are trapped in a certain loop and this has literally make you confused and maybe you feel manipulative or manipulated okay you need healer or for a few of you maybe you literally try to contact some therapist as well because literally situation is grim all around you dark bleak um because of somebody maybe cheated on you seven of swords okay so maybe somebody cheated on you or maybe somebody break your um maybe somebody broke your trust or maybe somebody hide something from your secret something to do with you know you are not well group number one this is what you know all four cards were literally telling me that very step that's why i literally explained that very thing into a literally deep explanation kind of thing but you know what group number one if this is not resonating with you you can go and choose another pile but this is literally what i can see for you your current situation is very uh, you know But let's see who is your person. Nine of Pentacles in Judgment and Six of Wands. Hmm. So there is uh, good news for you. There is literally great news that you know what, Group One. No matter how much troubles and challenges you have faced, Universe is literally going to be sending you good news in the coming nine months coming six to nine months are literally going to be very prominent for you you are going to see the victory okay you are going to literally see you in a winning situation 
you are going to succeed literally you are going to literally listen something very positive about you and this is a surprise this is a good news and why is this because this is the karma card the judgment one okay this is all about what you have been doing in the past because you were always a very positive one you were always very loyal very honest but people literally took a wrong advantage of your goodness and your humble and kind behavior that's why universe's plant has decided to bless you with happiness with abundance and with luxury because it's nine of pentacles you can see your luxurious lifestyle just like a diva so literally this is a glow up okay so this is abundance this is comfort honeymoon flowers like literally foreign tours as well this is a lavish lifestyle and the person you are going to meet is literally going to maybe they are going to provide you with that very thing or maybe you are going to do it by your own self but whatever the case is you are going to live a very lavish lifestyle in the future mm -hmm. so this is there for you what about your person real yeah we are talking about the now that's Jenny and they are coming with real three of pentacles reverse. With the Hierophant energy group number one, this person is your soulmate and absolutely safe for you to have connection with. Maybe you're going to receive a random call or message, any DM or any email. Um Maybe this person wants to contact you. They could be from your past life or maybe recent past as well. But the thing is here with the real card, this is a divine time. And you guys are lucky to have each other. Again, Wheel of Fortune is also for the soul connection. Mm -hmm. And literally a luck charm for you. Because the abundance is coming and you are going to receive a great, great luck in their presence. You know, group number one, maybe they are bringing luck with them for you. Because you are going to be uh, literally manifesting great life. Five of Swords is literally coming into Ace of Cups reverse. You see, all the problematic situations with the five of swords all that fights violence any cheating you see the you know dishonesty kind of thing everything is literally reversing with ace of cups reverse you are not going to have that kind of relationship anymore because serenity is coming new relationship and happiness is coming all right ten of pentacles upright well, this is about wealth. This is about inheritance and the family. Happy ending with a secure family. Maybe this person would be having big family or very traditional family. Also, this is going to be a big wedding day. Okay. And their family is very supportive to them as well. And of course, to you. So this is about family involvement as well. So their family is really supporting them for you. King of Vans, you see, you can see this destined partner of yours. They are King of Vans. They could be a uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or the air sign, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. So with the King of uh, Vans, I believe this person is a power person and extremely respectful. They are very, very good looking as well, of course. If they are a man, very handsome and a female, very, very, very attractive, very beautiful, very hot. Okay? And the thing is here, Palma one, maybe this could be the love at first sight as well for most of you. Mm -hmm. How is this could be literally love at first sight? Because this is the soul connection. This is the intense love, which is I can see. I can see the intensity of vans. I can see intensity of action because vans and of course the major energy is here 
about Aries, which is Mars. So Mars is all about action, travel, literally movement. Okay, and also it also represents the high intensity and very warm and cozy feelings. So of course they are coming towards you. Who is in your destiny? Queen of Cups and Hermit. So maybe they could be a little bit kind of like um introverted kind of one or maybe Queen of Cups upright. They do have a specific feminine side as well where they are very, very caring. A bit of emotional, sensitive. They can cry easily. And for a few of you, they could be psychic healer as well. Or maybe some light worker. You never know. Anyways, they have got very subtle energy, very elegant energy, which is literally, literally driving them, uh, <laughs> driving you crazy, basically, because because you you love this kind of person, maybe who is so down to earth, so humble, and very such a gentleman, right? So, yeah. So, I just want to see that, you know, what kind of love life you guys be having. So, yeah, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. This is about maybe you guys would not be attracted towards each other in the very start of the relationship, right? Or maybe they have literally suffered or maybe you have suffered traumatic past. And that's why you guys were unable to trust on each other easily. So there are going to be trust issues in the very start of the situation. But make the effort because literally you guys would literally be knowing each other from the uh, very past life. And with the passage of time, you guys would be having this thing in your mind that you guys are unique. You guys are literally made for each other and you need to make effort to keep this relationship going. Okay. And you know. The message is here, great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. So, universe will definitely guide you towards right path. Because you guys are literally soulmates. You can see these two kids, okay? You can see this connection. You can see the effort. They are literally, literally coming towards you. They want to be with you. You can see this innocence love, okay? So, with the passage of time, everything is going to get okay. You deserve love. Well, you are lovable. I believe, part number one, this person would literally fall for your looks, okay? The femininity in your behavior. Maybe you, get, you have got light curls, light waves in your hair. And the absolute love that you're raising. Exactly. More, I can see they love your arms, they love your height, your body, and your face, especially your nose and eyes. So, especially your nose, maybe they, they, would, they would be falling for your nose, I don't know why. But, maybe you have got very cute nose, very beautiful one. Healing family issues. Something to do with family issues. Maybe you need to forgive your parents. There is something to do with you, pile number one. I believe this person is almost healed. But maybe you need to let go of past or forgive your parents for something. Hmm. So just work on yourself, okay? Heart to heart conversations. Hmm. I believe this is uh, more than that of a physical one because this is soul to soul connection, heart to heart conversations and I believe there is kind of like communication between both of you guys like literally in the 5G and this person is having very strong feelings for you. Okay. Now, this is about maturity. They are mature, okay? Monthly mature, maybe physically mature, maybe older to you. Mm -hmm. And abundance. Rich. Rich lifestyle, okay? They do have a lot of money. They have got broad mindset as well. This is what I can see. Restored family. They are coming to save you. Don't, don't worry. 
and this is a universe sent person okay universe has sent that very one to enter into your life and literally change it like nobody else they have got that power to heal your heart to resolve the conflicts the fights the constant battle which is literally running into your mind all the time and with their arrival your peace of mind would be restored right so they're literally coming to heal your heart this is what i can see you're gifted part number one you're literally gifted if you got to meet this very one masculine divine masculine so this is your divine counterpart can be twin flame uh, otherwise maybe they are into their masculine energy so they're going to be providing you they're going to make efforts to get you to protect you and do whatever you want so yeah I just want to see one more thing one more card father so maybe they could be single father or they're going to be the father of your child or maybe this person is literally acting as a father figure for you because there was a maturity as well baby father and baby now it's confirmed that you guys are getting married right and having beautiful babies right <laughs> congratulations anyways this is an old soul mm -hmm. or maybe i don't know why maybe they live uh, in some like literally old place or maybe in any village kind of thing or maybe the place where there's a lot of um sand some dry area or there could be some any natural environment around them or maybe at the hot hot part of the country like where there is a prolonged summers kind of thing so yeah <laughs> so this can be uae or this could be the southern america or it could be texas maybe it can be australia hmm australia or it could be um, maybe Egypt, you never know. Egypt or South Africa, I, I can see here. So, yeah, let's see charms for your person. And group number, group number one. Let's see what comes up for you in the charms. okay so this is about being capricorn and i am not a cheater now <laughs> this is a clear message from them something to do with tears so maybe they're crying maybe they're sad i love you confession and again there is cry who is crying pile number one i don't know i literally chan channeling somebody's energy like literally somebody was crying so hard uh, like literally yesterday or maybe today this don't cry baby okay it's all right i literally can understand your situation but you know just wipe away your tears because abundance is coming and you deserve more okay so this is infinity sign you are going to be provided infinitely this is Scorpio. I love you again. Another confession. Please come back. This is the five number, which is the number of change. And nine, number of uh, literally getting stability in life. Some friendships penguins so they're really friendly person stress oh my gosh a lot of stress is coming up handsome marriage proposal 
this is a lips okay, behaving very prominent lips and clover luck is on your side cricket lover or maybe soccer you never know i can see fish which is literally telling me about you know somebody being um emotionally attached to you so also i literally can see maybe somebody left you or ghosted you for somebody else and now you are crying after them mm -hmm. don't do that daily you know see darling don't do that okay this is dolphin friendly behavior of your future spouse roses are coming for true love and it is with mars energy a lot of energy and momentum music is showing up for them and something to do with attachment anyways let's see name initials this is b i want to see more name initials are so this is b so you can see the b e s t so this is best right so this person is best for you so don't worry for anything which happened in the past P, I, and G, something to do with pig, I don't know how, and W, okay? So that's it for today, group number one. See you next time. Take care and bye. Hello, beautiful group number two. If you chose the second option, come on, let's see who is there in your destiny. Who is written there? So you got ten of cups, all right, and you have got the eight of cups in reverse. Mm -hmm. And the queen of pentacles upright. Well, the bottom of deck you do have six of swords. Hmm. Well, your the person who is in your destiny, I mean your destined partner, something to do with family, something to do with home, because this is a big family that you have, right? And with the Ten of Cups, of course, this is a family-oriented one, and this connection is going to be having a happy ending, okay? This person is absolutely safe to have, to like literally just start a new family, okay? You can count on them, you can rely on them, and this is literally a very, very romantic connection. With the Six of Swords energy, maybe you would be finding new ways to f literally find them out because maybe you do not know them. And literally, the universe is going to show you exact way, exact situation where you are going to meet this person. But the thing is here that you need to get out of a certain situation. You need to forget about your past only then you would be literally manifesting this very person in your life okay and the six of swords like literally you have to literally leave your comfort zone and go out okay to meet new people or maybe maybe i don't know what do you have to do for that very thing but you know you need to come out of that very comfort zone come out of that room and go outside meet new people or maybe you would have to travel to meet this very person but you know what as far as this connection is concerned this is a practical person okay you can rely on them very with the genesis queen of pentacles queen of pentacles is all about the one uh, who, who literally take care of the outside thing like business or job as well as they can take care of their home as well so you know this guy is a multi-talented one so three of pentacles hmm something to do with the teamwork or something to do with the five of bands maybe Maybe you are dealing right now with somebody with whom you have irritated um, conversation, like literally oppositions, no contact, a lot of differences. And, you know, maybe you are fighting all the time or 
you are literally dealing with a toxic ex or maybe i don't know what kind of situation is this but you need to work out on this connection and get out of that very um traumatic past that very you know grim situation because universe wants you to breathe in a fresh new air universe doesn't want to be staying there forever because new ways are opening for you your destined partner is literally page of pentacles reverse hmm here i believe maybe maybe this person is more into your personality than that of your looks okay because your looks absolutely doesn't matter for them not 100 percent, but you know most of the time they are literally craving or literally rooting for a person who is who is loyal who is loving and who is caring okay so no matter how do you look like it is not a big deal for your disjoint partner okay also this is a heart of fan reverse maybe this person is a social butterfly and you're going to meet them at any social setting or maybe any social event right heart of and reverse also is literally about um maybe they're having a very young soul and um, you know uh, maybe they are not of older age but you know the lovers energy they are your divine counterpart okay they can be a twin flame as well also for this lovers energy this is the gemini energy okay the mercury is the ruling planet over here so this is about the union this is about the marriage and the physical attraction as well this person is also going to be just as a life changer in your life two of cups this is a soulmate connection this is a deep love this is a marriage and this is a communication so i believe group number two maybe this person is literally coming towards you with a deeper connection there's intimacy there's love there's literally too many feelings for each other you see the lovers and two of cups these, these both cons are literally coming up together which is literally showing me that you know this connection this is our whole situation is all about pairing up it's all about literally connecting to each other okay so this is a soulmate connection they are your soulmate and they are interested more into your soul than that of your body right so your overall personality however you think like however you do however you handle your things and your confidence level everything is literally mattering for that very person so no matter how how tall you are, how what kind of skin or hair you do have, it doesn't matter for them. Of course it does, up to but up to certain limitations, like literally very small proportion of that very thing. <laughs> so lovely. This is attraction. Of course, this person is attracted towards you, okay? And this attraction is going to be your personality-wise. Right? Because they literally look at you as a... As a very mature one. They love your personality. The garden. They want to build a home. They want to build, you know, good environment for you and for them as well. But this is all about literally earning and literally getting into something you see this started masculine they want to work hard for you they want to earn money for you they want to provide you because this person is in masculine energy and they want things to happen in your connection i think this person is very hard working and uh, you know what uh, maybe in your destiny there is a there are struggles right and somehow somewhere this person is literally showing up from nowhere to make things easy for you because this is a helper this is a healer also this person is so simple right they do have very humble nature and like um they do, they, they do not fall for outer beauty and pump and show they want inner concerns they want the emotional attachment so this is what i can see here this is the manifestation 
Maybe pile number two. Uh, maybe you manifested your soulmate. This is also quite visible and yin and yang, of course. Now, you can literally see this is the divine counterpart. This is your love interest. Okay? And you guys are literally made for each other. You guys literally are too much into, like, literally helping each other. Like, doing a lot of sacrifices. And this is what I can literally see. And 22 to 36 is the main age bracket you are going to meet this very person. So, let's see from the dice that maybe what is going to come up for your connection. Hello, Mateo. They can be Leo. And this is the four number. Maybe the life path number is four. Or maybe the birth month is four. Like literally April. What else is here? Is again, Leo is coming up. And the tenth number. Uh, life path number. Or maybe the October born. Alright. What else is Virgo? And nine number. So September born. Sorry, this is Scorpio. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is Scorpio and um, September. Capricorn and again four is coming up with April. I just want to literally roll it one last time. Libra and the 12 number which is literally showing the December month. Okay. Let's move ahead and see what is the divine message for you for this distant connection or the person who is in your destiny. So what is there? This is past life. This situation involves your past life memories. So maybe this person is from your, exactly from your lab, past life and you know them before you would actually meet them there here right so they can be your soulmate they can be your um divine counterpart divine partner or maybe your twin flame as well so this was god's message i just want to pull more uh for your message hmm blossoming you are just getting started so have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up. So I believe this is this is the process. You need to trust in it, right? And whenever there whenever there is a divine timing, it all would be unfolded in front of you. Right? So don't be impatient, don't be literally like chasing everything out there because i believe pile number two you deserve something very classy right and you should not run after everybody out there so infinite is supplied goddess sedna you are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows so divine absolutely knows what do you actually deserve okay and everything is literally written down in the destiny. Everything is there for you, which you have to manifest. And it is coming towards you, right? So don't worry. Don't panic much. Mother Earth, you are called upon to help with environmentalism, Mother Earth. So I believe part number two, maybe you do have a soul, connect, soul mission. And you need to literally pursue that, first of all. Because you are a healer. Maybe you, you are here for some, like, maybe social work, or maybe helping others, or maybe you can, maybe you can be an empath. You are too sensitive for things, for events. So, universe wants you to literally work on that, first of all, and then think about other stuff. Mm -hmm. So, Mother Mary expects a miracle. So if somebody's here who wants to literally uh, manifest a baby, okay, this is a medical baby for you. That is coming, okay? Also, you have faith that your prayers have been answered and are being answered. <laughs> your prayers have been heard and are being answered, right? So it's about like literally, this is a miracle. And whatever you're wishing for is literally coming towards you in no time. 
So, be strong. God is Shachamad. She is the um, Egyptian goddess, right? And she is telling you to be strong. And she's saying that you are stronger than you think you are. And your strength assures a happy outcome. Okay? So, be strong. Be, um, like, just wear the pants if you have to. So, don't, don't be afraid of anything. God is hot heart. This is the receptivity. So we need to be in a receiving mode. Okay. Open your hands. Let literally open your mind and um, just fulfill your container with positivity. Only then you would be able to receive all the abundance and blessings of it is coming towards you. Don't break down. Turn up for what you believe is right. Okay, I believe group number two, you do have got very good intuitive powers. You know exactly what do you actually deserve and what do you actually want, okay? So manifest, manifest accordingly. Don't get trapped into somebody else's dreams maybe, okay? And listen to your heart and you literally that thing or that person's literally standing in front of you once you are positive alrighty group number two let's move ahead and see what is going to be the exactly charms kind of stuff for you so are you ready for the charms thing okay all right group number two who is in your destiny who is in your destiny so, this person is literally broken hearted. So, this is the missing part of the heart kind of thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right? This is about miss you. So, of course, they do miss you. You are my other half, right? So, this is exactly your divine counterpart. And they exactly, like this person loves you like nobody else. Something to do with the music. So, Maybe they are into listening music kind of stuff. There's infinity sign. Hmm. Infinite love. So, again, I just want to say that you're in the 2024, the, you know, this year. is literally, if you look at the numerology, if you add up all the, you know, uh, 2 plus um, 2024, this is exactly comes up, summing up into it which is infinity sign okay so also it also represents the karma right because what goes around and comes around okay so literally this year is going to be the one it will literally bring you fruits whatever you have been dealing with i don't know but this is this year is the year of karma fruit okay so this is what i want to say some social media apps, kind of, kind of like Facebook, Instagram, or any other digital app could be the reason you are going to meet this person. Again, this is 11. Another charm is saying 11, 11. So this is the highest form of alignment with the divine, with, the, with your higher self. So you need to be ready to receive all the abundance and things which are written there for you so numbers i can see here with it again it is coming up just as karma right so you know get ready to get your fruits whatever you have been doing in the past is coming up is showing up in front of you in no time also this is a seven number which is the luck and this is a five number which is the number of change Okay, so you are lucky to have these kind of things. Something to do with music. So, maybe they love listening songs. Wedding card. So, hmm, maybe you're going to get married very soon. Pictures. They love to look at your pictures. They love your lips for no reason. For, <laughs> I don't know why. Again, there is a miss you. So, miss you is having, you know, its presence like twice. So, they really miss you. Sagittarius energy. 
and of course they're falling for you okay they love you they like you cancer and the 10 number which is the number of completion so i think the divine timing is here for you also for this connection this is the eyeshadow palette so this literally tells me that you know your life is really going to be coming up with new direction like literally new colors being filled in it okay so this is about you know you can see the life from different perspective the colorful side of the life also this is attachment so this person is really going to be getting attached with you to you i don't know and they would be literally chasing you for love because they love and crave your energy i just want to see the name initials of your person so name initials would be Palomachio is A, A and H, V is C and U, C, B and F and X, okay? So this is BF, so maybe this is your boyfriend, you never know. So, yeah, so that's it for today, group number two. I'll see you next time. Till then, you need to take care of yourself, okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Love you. Hey, my love. Hello, welcome. Part number three, if you chose the third option. Come on, let's see what is there for you. Who is in your destiny? And let's see what is coming up for you. And of, oh my gosh, this is the Empress and Shant Reverse. Okay, Empress, Shant Reverse, and the Six of Swords Reverse. Who is in your destiny? Chariot Reverse. Oh my gosh. Now, Pal number two. Sorry, this is Pal number three. Well, part number three, I literally can't see the zodiac sign here, which is the Leo Cancer and I'm with the air sign Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Right? This person is literally near you, around you. There is no, you know, your destiny is literally making both of you getting so closer and closer day by day. Because something is happening in the very, very near future. Group number three. You can literally feel this person. You can literally sense their presence in your life. Right? And universe is in a giving mode. Literally with the Empress energy. Universe wants to make you supplied. Okay? Universe is loyal to you. Maybe someday somehow you prayed for your soulmate or for your future spouse or anybody, maybe your life partner. Okay? You manifested them and literally universe is responding you to that very prayer, that very wish that this person is coming towards you. You can see the six of swords reverse and the chariot reverse. These both gods are literally telling me that they are somewhere near to you, already coming towards you. And for a few of you, maybe you already know them. Okay, group number three, you already know them. And if you do not, still this person is coming towards you like literally nobody else. Mm -hmm. And you need to wait for them because, you know, the time has arrived. This is the divine timing. This is exactly when things are literally moving towards you, having momentum. Just stay still and wait. You have suffered a lot. Universe knows that. That you are a good baby. You are the good person. And you have struggled a lot. Okay, maybe you are tired now defending yourself. You are tired now. You don't want to literally 
um, be somebody's puppet, right? You want to have freedom. You want to live your life right now. That's why maybe you are single because universe wants you to literally enjoy that very freedom period. Okay, because universe loves you. You don't have to face struggles all the time, right? Just, you know, take care of yourself. Just love yourself. Even if you are single, this time is just to love yourself, like, unconditionally. Okay? Six of Cups inverse. Uh, sorry, uh, upright. So, uh, you know, I believe by number three, this person is such a form of love. And for a few of you, rather many of you, this is the soulmate. And this can be reunion as well. Maybe you were c connected and you were together in the previous life. Or maybe you could not get together. One of you, one of you maybe died or maybe cheated on one another. I don't know. But this is a time. This In this lifetime, they are coming towards you okay they want you and i believe the union is going to happen here in this very 3d this lifetime is here for you know you see it advance advancement literally moving towards you again this is stepping forward you are going to meet them very soon queen <laughs> you know all about your attraction all about your confidence level, your beauty, your admiration. Because this person is literally considered you exactly hot, right? I am right. And, you know, they, they literally appreciate your beauty. And in their mindset, you are the one who is the most beautiful, most talented person ever existed on this face of the earth. So this is what I can see, like literally your body tie up, your hair, your skin, your complexion, height, everything is literally making them feel as if you are an ideal one. You are absolutely irresistible. This is what I can tell you. Ten of cups reverse. <laughs> but number three, you know what? Um, maybe this person lives alone. Okay, maybe they don't they are not living with their family right now, or maybe they are literally living somewhere in any dorm or any hostel, or maybe I don't know, maybe just for no reason they live alone and they are literally done with this loneliness and they want you. <laughs> they want their partner. They are literally craving for a family and happy times. Nine of Pentacles, the are oh, like you see, good earning one. Maybe they do any kind of like maybe they work from home, something to do with online buying and selling, or maybe doing with some some digital currency or day trading, or maybe something to do with um like currency exchange. I don't know, but they do something literally, literally dealing with money all the time, and they are rich. Okay. They are rich. They are enjoying their life. Maybe they are single, but literally they are happy, like literally regarding their finances. Yeah, and I, I literally can see abundance, the wealth, comfort, luxury lifestyle. And also I believe maybe this person loves flowers, roses, tulips, or maybe any other, maybe orchids, right? They love lavish lifestyle. They have got foreign tours um, time to time. They love to have holidays with their friends, right? So they are right now enjoying their life. <laughs> so this is what their life is about with the Queen of Cups. Of course, you are their queen. Once you are literally going to meet them, they would be falling for your sensitive, feminine, emotional side. For a few of you, you could, you could be psychic. You could be healer as well. Also, for this connection, pile number three, they love your dressing sense. If you are female, maybe you dress too feminine, kind of like maybe skirts, frogs, or dresses, 
okay maybe you love to curl your hair in a certain way or maybe you do hairdos um like maybe you want to tie buns or maybe you maybe you do have a lot of cute accessories um like jewelries or maybe hair accessories this person is literally loving that <laughs> yeah also for this is the hangman which is literally this person would be stunned by your looks they will they literally want to be yours but literally the, this person is they, they didn't expect you to be this very beautiful because 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 this person is into your looks yes <laughs> they, they are a visual kind of one and you know what it's not their fault basically the reality is this that you yourself are so beautiful you're stunning so good looking that everybody falls for you so it's not their fault okay seven of pentacles reverse this person has a nature which is very very hasty and they cannot wait to be yours <laughs> you know your destined partner is so so romantic this is what i can see up to now let's see what else is there is often so maybe they lost their parents in the very early age of their life maybe that's why this person is living alone then they feel so lonely you never know living or travel yeah you can see this travel or maybe moving towards you or maybe you moving into their house there is going to be some movement wars and battles hmm maybe this person has thought a lot in their life like literally for the situation with the financial conditions or maybe with the relatives i don't know but this person's life has been a constant struggle and for a few of you this person could be an army and police or any kind of force as well so this is what i can see also for this unrequited love i believe file number three maybe the never got due love from their mom or from their ex because this person still craves for true love so this is what their issues are writer author or maybe they write poetry or as a hobby maybe baby so this person could be just like a child at heart or maybe this person is just like um just like a newborn because they want to restart their life and for a few of you maybe they do not have any kind of relationship before they would meet you so you never know they could be virgin as well so this person literally feels so restricted so loneliness just literally without you their um life partner so this is what i can see here for this connection let's see from the oracle who is in your destiny and what is their reality dating hmm. well i believe group number three they will literally come up they will tell you to be their wife right but before that they would ask you for date and that romantic phase of your life is literally going to be very beautiful okay because they would be literally acting as a very passionate lover and bringing a lot of roses gifts for you or maybe taking you to dinners so that very dating phase is going to be extremely extremely romantic and full of love for you life purpose so group number three maybe this connection maybe this re reunion is happening because you need to fulfill your life purpose together and this person is helping this person is so soothing so healing 
and so down to earth. Maybe that's why this person is literally coming towards you and the universe is sending that very person towards you, okay? No else, nobody else, just the universe because the universe wants you to be in this with this energy around this person because you deserve healing, you deserve everything. So this is your gift, basically. Inner peace. You can see this inner peace. Maybe you are so wounded yourself. Okay. Maybe this is somebody I believe is sitting here with the green color dress. This green or maybe blue. So you have got some mental issues. Or maybe mental anxiety. Or some panic attacks kind of thing. Okay. Or maybe you, you'll be feeling... Um, insomnia you have been suffering from that very thing and uh, you see you deserve inner peace and you know the peace of mind is literally coming towards you and universe is just, universe is sending that okay so just get ready to receive that very energy so a gentleman right cavalry Gentlemen, they could be in any army forces or maybe somehow they wear pants. They could be businessmen as well. Anyways, whatever the case is, I can see the roses or flowers coming to eyes, okay? Here, they're bringing flowers for you and here again, they're bringing flowers for you. So this is beautiful. You see, um, roses literally have got high vibration. A normal, um, you know, <clears throat> human body literally vibrates at uh, 60 to 75 megahertz normally. But roses literally vibrate, you know, above 300 megahertz. <clears throat> so literally, this, these, the roses are a very high vibrational being right so i believe there is going to be good chances of both of you getting connected and aligned to the divine so forgiveness they are gentle they are so soft and You can't see this very thing coming towards you. Well, I just want to see whatever, like literally what zodiacs are going to be theirs. It is Pisces and the seven number. So in the seven number is the July. Gemini and eleven number. So November coming November can be important. This is Aquarius and the seven number, okay, the July. Libra and the 12 number coming December can be important or maybe these can be their birth months. Capricorn and the five number or the May. Finally, Gemini. And the nine number or coming September could be important for this very group. All right, so let's move ahead and see the charms and other stuff. So group number um, three, let's see what is coming up for your connection. So let's see what is there for you. This is a Libra again. Libra is coming for number which is stability. Okay. Nine number is September. So maybe somebody is 94 born. 94. <clears throat> Um, princess, so get ready to get the princess treatment, okay? So this is a love, this is literally roses. Roses are coming again in the charms as well. Oh my gosh, like literally this is a romantic connection. Miss you, 
so i am seeing another rose as well this <laughs> you can literally see this pile number three a lot of roses are coming towards you a lot of romance you see literally true love oh my gosh things are insane this is travel so maybe they could be pilot cabin crew or maybe they live in another country kiss okay friendship so they could be your friend before they would be your boyfriend scorpio wanna call you and diamond you see you're just like a diamond for them and they love that anyways there is uh, an offer for you to go for shopping with them five number is the number of change okay infinity sign or each number so abundance infinity dreams maybe they maybe you someday saw them in your dream or maybe in the 5d there was a connection between both of you also there is something to do with heart something to do with you know love seven number number of luck and cancer a lot of emotions Again, this is the five number, so it could be the uh, maybe 95 born as well. Also, maybe somebody is above 40 here, like literally 40 plus. Mm -hmm. So they love your smile and something to do with music. And this is Sagittarius, Capricorn. Sorry, this is Cancer cancer triple two divine union and this is the golden heart so this is a very precious person having a heart of gold butterfly transformation just wait a little bit more because this person is literally coming towards you and they'll be having very too much attachment with you because they want to connect with you they want to get attached with you this is what i can see right now look at the uh, name initials right let's see so their name initials are okay this is p o z and e and m w and and right so that's it for today group number three see you next time take care baby bye